Okay, I'm recording this video after close of trade Monday the 13th of December 2010 and I want to talk about trends and tells uh, today and just uh, thought I'd bring up uh, Wikipedia's uh, definition of a tell uh, and it's a term that comes from poker and as Wikipedia describes it's a subtle but detectable change in a player's behavior or demeanor that gives clues uh, to the player's assessment of their hand and you can see tells in the market uh, when it comes to determining what the professionals are doing and what the trend of the market is doing. And one of the things that I find useful t as a, a tell is to look at the amateur bars. And this is uh, a 1500 tip bar chart of what was happening uh, on this morning's trade, Monday the 13th of December. Uh, we'd had uh, in the Sunday's overnight uh, kind of session, we'd had a, a fairly big kind of run up in the market. So we opened fairly strong, kind of sold off uh, pretty hard in the first few minutes and then started this kind of gradual uh, rally at this point. It's about five point kind of top to bottom type rally, uh, which was an uptrend. But you know, it'd be difficult to find uh, some kind of moving average or some kind of uh, methodology that would be able to tell you uh, this was an uptrend kind of happening uh, during this time period. But uh, if we look at what the amateur and the professional bars are showing us using a better pro-am, I think you can actually see signals or tells uh, that are actually explaining that we're actually in an uptrend. So let me go to the 500 tip bar chart here. Exactly the same activity here. This is a, a vertical red dotted line just shows the uh, open of trade on the Monday morning. Here's the sell off that we had uh, kind of early on. I've kind of bunched up this uh, chart here a little bit so you can see the bars. Uh, and on here I've got better sine wave which shows us these kind of cyclical highs and lows batting backwards and forwards as you can see them up and down as we go up this kind of uh, shallow uptrend. And then on here I've got a better pro-am with both the kind of um, text uh, signals showing accumulation, professional accumulation and distribution and the paint bars showing, showing professional and amateur bars. The blue bars are professional bars and the yellow bars are amateur bars. And I want you to concentrate on the yellow bars that we see going through this uh, what turned out to be an up move. And the first one is we have a spike down here at this point into a 12.30 second, 12.37. We come in, we get a couple of kind of uh, bullish divergence signals showing that we're running out of steam at this point. And then we have a test back down into this 37 level. And you can see here this test down is an amateur down bar. And it's also a no supply uh, signal showing that there is some kind of accumulation happening at this point. I interpret this as these are amateurs expecting this downtrend to continue. They see kind of a break potentially to new lows. They're trying to get on board this. And as soon as the high of that bar is taken out, I kind of know that that's a fairly significant turning point at that point that gives me a first clue or an indication or tell that we're actually in an uptrend because if this was a downtrend, the high of that bar would not have been taken out. We wouldn't have bounced at that point and kind of had a little bit of a rally here. Then the next time we come back into 37 down here, we come into a cyclical turning point. There's a little bit of bullish divergence. There's a, a red dot on better momentum showing that there's again less and less kind of selling pressure at this point. And we get a little uh, yellow amateur bar right at the lows there that's actually a Rambo pattern. Now my Rambo pattern is short for a reversal of an amateur breakout. And this is an amateur breakdown at this point, kind of breaking down to potentially new lows. The amateurs are thinking, my God, you know, we've had this little uh, retracement back. We're now, this downtrend is really going to get going at this point. And they're sh starting to short right there at the bottom of this move, almost kind of breaking to new lows. And they're trying to go short at that point. However, as soon as the high of that bar is taken out, and we had a very strong bar straight after that, the market, the, that little tell in the market is telling you again, the amateurs are getting wrong footed at this point. The amateurs are guessing that this is a downtrend and in fact, what we're in is an uptrend. Again, a few minutes later, same thing happens. At this point, we're testing 12.37 and a half. And you can see again, an amateur down bar into those new lows. And again, the high of that amateur bar gets taken out to the upside. 
Same thing, the amateurs are thinking, well, this was just a little bit of a double top. The market is really going to go down. I better get on board here because this is really going to be a downtrend kind of setting up right now. As soon as the high is taken out, we know the amateurs have been wrong footed. The amateurs are expecting uh, a downtrend because they tend to follow breakouts and breakdowns, whereas professionals are doing the reverse. They're buying breakdowns and selling uh, breakouts the amateurs getting wrong footed and this is actually an uptrend so you know with this very kind of complex uh, kind of price activity strong downtrend and then these little kind of retracements here the professional and amateur bars using better pro am are showing you one two three signals uh, that this is actually more likely to be an uptrend and then a few minutes later we get another signal here this is a beautiful little signal. Again, we kind of retrace back down and two little Rambo patterns here at another cyclical support level. Again, Rambo potential reversal of an amateur breakout. The amateurs are expecting a breakout. In fact, in this case, it's a breakdown uh, to new lows. As soon as the high of those bars get taken out, the amateurs are being wrong footed. They're expecting the market to go down. And in fact, the market has shown strength. And here we go again, a few minutes later, exactly the same thing again. Another amateur down bar into this test level. We're down now up at 38. Uh, cyclical support using better sine wave. Bullish divergence using better momentum, so there's less and less buying activity. And then the amateurs get wrong footed as soon as the high of that bar is taken out. So, all along this little sequence, we're making gradually higher and higher lows. And these little amateur bars right here down at the bottom are giving you little market tells, little signals that in fact we're in an uptrend and that we've been gradually creeping higher and higher, making kind of new highs at this point. And that these little amateur bars, the breaks of the highs of those amateur bars, are good signals uh, to start playing a breakout to the upside. And so when we look at this move here, you can see on the 1500 tip bar chart, this was this whole series of little tests coming down with each of those amateur bars in the 500 tip bar chart showing that we are actually in an uptrend. We get a little bit of a pullback and a final push to kind of new highs at this point, and that's when the professionals kind of came in and sold the market. But all along the way, all these little tells were showing us that we were actually at the beginning stages of an uptrend, shown first of all by this very early no supply signal right down at the bottom here with an amateur bar, another test right at the same level, 37 and a quarter, and a Rambo pattern here at the lows, and then we keep on making these little amateur down bars at these lows, signaling, telling us that the market's actually in an uptrend. So there we go. Uh, my kind of uh, um, micro view of what's happening on a bar by bar basis and I view these as little tells. It's like we're in a poker game. We're trying to figure out, you know, what's the hand that the other person has. What are the amateurs doing that it's wrong that we need to um, fade and what are the professionals doing that we need to get on, on board and, and follow. And all these little amateur testing bars down here at these lows are just giving me subtle little signals that in fact we're in an uptrend and I need to be getting long. So there we go. Hope that was helpful to you.